Some potential key witnesses in the Gilgo Beach investigation are sitting in the same jail where the suspect is being held. In a CBS2 exclusive, Jennifer McLogan spoke with the Suffolk County Sheriff about those witnesses and what life is like for Rex Hewerman behind bars. My staff has interviewed 141 sex workers so far. Suffolk County Sheriff Errol Toulon tells CBS2 New York the investigation into the Gilgo Beach serial killer has followed suspect Rex Hewerman behind bars. So far, we've had 12 women that have claimed interactions with Rex Hewerman. Female inmates who have worked as escorts. They actually had a physical encounter. Was it a phone call? Was it through uh, social media? So anything that we can gather from them will be very helpful. Two of those interviews conducted by Toulon's specialized human trafficking unit could bear fruit. We still haven't been able to validate those claims of those two women that said that he was violent and aggressive. Human is no longer on suicide watch. He has sheets on his bed. He also has shoes that has shoelaces. There is constant supervision. His 60 square foot cell has a bunk, sink, toilet and plastic mirror. Rex Hewerman is allowed to read newspapers about his case, books from the jail library, files from his attorney, and watch a TV outside his cell. The correctional officer will change the channel for him. He's not really engaged in watching it unless it's a news program. About himself? About the news. He's allowed one hour a day in the exercise yard. Under observation by correction staff, and so he has the opportunity to shoot basketball hoops if he wanted to. Uh, he can do sprints, he can do pull ups, has dips, he done push ups. Any of that? The only thing he's done is walk, walk around the yard. Human's been visited by a chaplain and one unnamed acquaintance. He has had visits, uh, many visits from his attorney. He's had about. But not his family. No, no family members. We noticed in, in court. That he had a new haircut mm -hmm. last time out. Yes, uh, he did receive a haircut. We were able to find someone uh, that met all of our security measures. As the case meanders through court conferences and hearings, Hewerman's attorney offered no comment. From Riverhead, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And the sheriff says that his sex trafficking unit has gained the trust of other escorts and is expanding interviews into the Nassau County Jail and the city.